guys, Jake here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn an old PC or a new PC into an Unraid server. Speaking of Unraid, thank you to them for sponsoring this video. If you guys have not entered the giveaway, uh, it has just ended, uh, but there will be some more uh, coming soon. Uh, but those winners that did uh, win the iCloud Bypass one, I will be getting in touch with you soon uh, using Instagram DMs. So the first step is to plug in your USB thumb drive. Uh, this thumb drive should be over eight gigabytes. Um, and so once you're done plugging that in, you are going to want to open uh, Disk Utility. And then you are going to want to uh, click on Erase on the drive. You are going to want to name it uh, Unraid in all capitals. So U-N-R-A-I-D. And make sure that it is set to uh, MAS uh, DOS and then in parentheses it says fat and then underneath that where it says uh, the partition table you want it to say master boot record and so that's the second option down. Uh, once you're done with that you can click on erase and your drive will erase. After this you will want to head over to unraid.net and then you are going to want to click on the downloads button in the top menu bar then after that you are going to want to scroll down to the bottom uh, next to where it says a version uh, 6.8.3 uh, at the time of recording this uh, if you are watching this in the future the uh, newer version may be out uh, once you are done with that you are going to want to uh, click on the uh, download button uh, that's that's next to uh, the 6.8.3 and so a zip file will start downloading uh, and then you are going to want to extract that zip file and then uh, you are going to want to dr uh, drag all of the files that are in the folder onto your USB thumb drive. Once that's done, you are going to want to double click on make bootable USB uh, Mac OS. And so once that is open, it will prompt you if you want to install the uh, UEFI uh, bootloader on it. So you are going to want to type the letter Y and then it will prompt you for your admin password. Uh, so I will type mine in now. Once that's done, uh, we'll start installing the bootloader onto your thumb drive. And once that's done, uh, it will be all set. So now that it is complete, uh, we can pull out the thumb drive from our Mac and then plug it into our uh, server computer. Once it's plugged into our server computer, uh, we can uh, boot up the computer and head over to the BIOS. So once you have headed over to the BIOS, uh, what you are going to want to do is make sure that your USB uh, flash drive is the first boot option when booting up. So this is what it looks like on my MSI motherboard. Uh, it may look different on your motherboard. Um, so once you have made that the first boot option, you are going to want to press save changes and restart. Once you have restarted and it has uh, started to boot the thumb drive, uh, there will be a list of options. There's Unraid uh, OS and then the Unraid uh, OS GUI mode and then some other options as well. Uh, for I like booting into the GUI uh, mode personally because this uh, actually gives you like a, a interface that you can like uh, use the web browser on and make big changes to your server. So I'm going to boot up in the Unraid OS GUI mode. So you hover over it and then just click on the enter button and then it will start booting. So once it is booted, it will prompt you for a username. Uh, so the username uh, by default is root, and then you're gonna press on enter, and then the password is alpine. Uh, so once you have done that, you are now into your Unraid server, and then a web page will pop up with the registration instructions. So you wanna press on the get trial key button, and this trial key will last for, I believe, 30 days. Once you do that, 
uh, it will assign uh, the license trial key to that thumb drive. Um, so you can plug this into a, another server if you want as well. And then at the end, if you do want an extension, uh, sometimes they will extend the uh, trial period. Uh, so once that's done, uh, you are in your server. And so now I'm going uh, to show you what it looks like when it is all set up. The way that you do uh, manage it from another computer uh, is using your web browser and typing in the IP address, uh, which is located in the top right. Um, so I'm not going to tell you mine, um, but you can also type in the server name as well. So now that I'm at mine, uh, you can see uh, that it shows you the name of the server. Yours uh, will say tower uh, when you're setting it up. Uh, right now I have mine uh, named. Uh, to the Jake Brown Media Production server. Uh, it will tell you your motherboard, uh, like what it is, uh, and the processor, as well as your uh, memory, so RAM, and uh, your Docker containers, virtual machines, your shares, users, uh, and what how your drives are, uh, if they're active uh, and healthy and stuff like that. It will also tell you your Ethernet uh, interface and the inbound and outbound on that. And then you can customize uh, the name of your server, like I said before in the description. And then also you can change the uh, little image that's there. So I have, the, I have my channel's logo right now. And then uh, if you do head over to the main one, you can see I do have two disks and a parity drive set up. And then I also do have a cache drive set up as well. Uh, so if you guys uh, did not see my comparison uh, for the free NAS vs Unray video, that will be up in the i card and down in the description. So do make sure that you guys check that out. And then I also do have a, uh, an install video uh, for free NAS coming up as well. Anyway, back to Unraid. As you can see, so you can stop the array. Uh, you can do a parity check if you have a parity drive set up. Um, and you can move stuff from your cache as well. And then if we can go to the users, you can create as many users as you want. And then under settings, you have all these settings, uh, whether it be your network services, the actual system settings as well. And then there's actually a cool setting uh, that I that I think is actually like very genius that they put in this is the uh, UPS setting. So if you do have a UPS plugged into it, uh, you can set it different options like when it when the server will shut down, when the power goes out, and how much percentage the UPS has left. Then we do have plugins that you can install. I have the community applications plugin installed and that uh, just gives you that like app store so you can install other plugins from there. Here's like your dockers. Uh, so that's how you would turn on some of the plugins that you would install. We have virtual machines. And then here's that app store that I was just talking about uh, that you can uh, install different uh, apps and plugins. And we do have the tools tab as well. Um, so you can check out stuff like about Unraid OS uh, and then stuff like your registration and doing some updates as well. So as you can see here, uh, it does say after your trial key uh, has expired, your server will still function normally until the next time that you do stop the array. And then we also do have access uh, to the server from on here from for the actual like command line. Um, so you can just press the, the button in the top right, which is pretty cool. And then uh, there's a spot to leave some feedback and bugs. Uh, there's some other support stuff as well. Uh, there's also a system log and system information. Uh, so, and it also does tell you uh, what version that you do have. Uh, so I have like the trial on here and then it also tells you the uptime of your server. And then as I said uh, before, you can either go to the IP address or your server name dot local. Uh, so mine's jbmp-server.local um, and so that's how I get to my server on the internet. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell icon that is to the right of that uh, to make sure that you guys do receive notifications when I do upload and I'll catch you guys in the next one.